Hey guys, AJ from GoProFanatics.com and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the all new GoScope Boost and the GoScope Boost Plus extension poles for the GoPro Hero cameras. Both models of the Boost include the following. One extension pole, one wrist lanyard, and one clip to attach your GoPro remote. Both Boost models are made from an aluminum magnesium alloy and polycarbonate which make them very durable and lightweight. This construction also means you can take these things anywhere. That includes fresh water, salt water, snow, whatever. Let's start off with the specs of the Boost Plus. It weighs in at 270 grams. The smallest form is 17 and a half inches and it extends all the way out to 40 inches. The smaller and more compact Boost weighs in at 220 grams, which makes it even lighter and its smallest form is 13 inches and extends all the way out to 26 inches. As you saw, adjusting the length is quick and easy on the new boost line. All you have to do is twist counterclockwise, extend it, and then twist clockwise, and it's locked in position. So my favorite feature of the new boost line of telescoping poles, as was the case with the Extreme and Originals, is how you mount the GoPro to the end. So it features two slots, so you can attach up to two cameras to the end, which is pretty neat. Um, and basically these things accept the standard flat buckle and J-hook buckle that are original mounts from GoPro. So I've got my uh, Hero 3 here with the flat buckle, slides into place like that. And I got my Hero 4 black with the J-hook and just slide that into position. And now I've got two cameras attached, ready to go. And this is a pretty cool uh, setup to have um, two GoPros on the end, uh, mainly because you can film the action in front of you with one of them. And while you're doing that, you can get a selfie of yourself. So this is the setup that I would recommend going with, uh, filming the front with this and then filming uh, you, know, you in the action as well. This would be pretty awesome for uh, like skiing or snowboarding, for example, if you're following your buddy, recording with this, and then you can get yourself uh, cruising through the powder or rocking some turns in the groomers with the, uh, with the selfie GoPro on top. So that brings me to the next thing, which is the Sure Grip. That's what uh, GoScope calls their uh, grip. And uh, I agree with that terminology. It's uh, solid. It feels like a, uh, like a bike handlebar grip, to be honest. Um, so it's firm, uh, it's not going to slide out uh, from your hands, it's got a, a good amount of grip on it, it's not waxy or anything like that. Um, and it's, I think it's the perfect size. Uh, I snowboarded with it, so I had big thick gloves, gloves on and uh, didn't have a problem holding on to it. And then, uh, you know, just naked hand like this feels great. And another cool little feature on uh, both the Boost and the Boost Plus models is the quarter inch threaded end. Uh, so GoScope actually includes this lanyard as I indicated earlier and you can just twist that in the end here and now you've got uh, a lanyard. Boom. So if you're filming and you drop it, whoop. The other thing that I thought of is you don't have to use the uh, quarter inch threaded end exclusively for the lanyard. Uh, you could actually attach it to a tripod if you wanted to. Um, so let's say you want to get a little bit more extension or height um, in a time lapse that you're filming, for example. So just set it to the right, uh, right distance or height and then thread this into your tripod and then it's, uh, it's just going to sit there like this and you're going to get an extra up to 40 inches if you have the Boost Plus, which is pretty cool. All right, so the final feature that I'm going to talk about is the... Uh, remote clip that is included with both the Boost and the Boost Plus uh, poles. Um, so as you can see on the remote, there are two slots on either side of the remote. Uh, typically this is used if you want to feed a Velcro strap in there and attach it to your wrist. Uh, but in this case, um, the clip takes advantage of those slots and there are two little uh, lips on the clip. So basically, um, what you want to do is you want to take the smaller one, the one without this, uh, this tall flap here, and attach it to uh, one of the channels on the uh, remote, and then just push it down like this, and you'll hear it uh, clip into position, 
and the remote is in there now. It's not going anywhere. And to attach it to the pole, uh, GoScope recommends attaching it right at the top here. So you see there's going to be like a, a little, uh, their logo is uh, marked on the top there. So I've just been attaching it over the logo. So you just push. It's a bit uh, tough, so don't be shy. You can uh, push it on there with some force. And that's it. It's attached. And um, even with the remote attached there, there's still a lot of room uh, for your hand to, to get around the grip. Uh, the remote's not getting in the way. Um, and it's right there uh, for your thumb to use. So super cool feature. So my final verdict on the uh, Boost and Boost Plus, I absolutely friggin' love these things. I think um, having the, uh, the two slots up top to uh, accommodate two cameras is a very cool feature. Um, the need to not have to fumble around twisting on a tripod mount is great. Um, I mean, it takes that long to attach a GoPro camera when it's already attached to the uh, flat buckle or J-hook. So that's pretty damn cool. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful. Um, I hope I covered uh, all the topics and all your questions. Uh, but if you have any additional questions, feel free to comment below and I will definitely answer them. I'll provide a bit more information in the description below um, with links uh, to the GoPro Fanatic shop, which is shop.goprofanatics.com. Um, I'll include links to both the Boost and the Boost Plus. And as always, be sure to check out our GoPro forum at goprofanatics.com. All right, guys, I'll see you later.